Looks like we are live on YouTube and Facebook. Perfect. Let's see. Are we live on Webinar Jam yet? Let's, let's see here. We are live. Fantastic. All right. We're doing mic check first. Let's see if we fixed Webinar Jam for me. If we haven't, we'll have to go back to our other method. Let's see. <laughs> mic Ted, check. Mic check. If you can hear us, put in the chat. <laughs> I know it was it was entertaining last time. So <laughs> let's see. Can you hear all of us? Kelly, can you guys hear us? What's up, people? Mike What's check. up? Here we go. Mic check. Hello. All right. <laughs> so ready for today. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome. The main one's me. I know I was the problem last time. Yes. <laughs> Everybody hey, can get us. All right. Perfect. All Perfect. right. Fantastic. <laughs> Look at us go. We figured it out, guys. All right. Cool. Cross your fingers because you know they could hear us in the beginning last time. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, don't hey, jinx you know, it. You Don't guys, you guys bear with us. Uh, so it worked out real well, but um, there we go. We, we make it, we made it happen. So uh, fantastic. They can hear us on YouTube, on Facebook. Perfect. Perfect. Um, welcome everybody. You know, it, we're in the uh, financing freedom seven day challenge. We're about halfway through this thing. Uh, again, there's three live trainings. There was one to kick this thing off on Monday, one today, and then the final one is, is next Monday. So same time, same place next Monday. Make sure to bookmark your calendars. Yep. You got to be on live to win. We're giving away over 12 grand of free stuff, which is crazy. A crazy, most we ever given away in a, in a challenge, I'll say. Right. Uh, and so you got to be on live to win those things. So you get, make sure you're on, on Monday, make sure you bookmark, uh, you know, this challenge overall. Um, you know, pay attention to your emails. If you're watching on social media, there's a little scrolling ticker at the bottom. Make sure to go to it's uh, www.thepolitechallenge.com. If you're watching on social media, you got to go to that to free register for the email reminders for everything to get the homework, all that. You can watch today on on YouTube and Facebook. That's great. You know, get through the training, but make sure to go there. It's that free sign up to to get all the notifications for the rest of the challenge. So, um, Dedrick Crystal, how are you guys doing today? Hey, listen, we're doing great. Super excited to be back for day four of the challenge mm -hmm. and. Uh, Ready to share with you guys. Yeah, it's been a long week. <laughs> well, we'll have some fun today. We're starting strong, too. Yes. People can hear us. So, <laughs> uh, fantastic. Well, I know uh, just to kind of get us kicked off, quick, quick uh, overview. If you missed day one, that's okay. Um, you know, if you sign up at that, the, the, the applies challenge.com, if you're watching on social media, if you sign up there, you'll get the replay for day one. Um, everybody in the webinar jam, you already signed up. So, great job. Uh, just a quick recap, you know, we are really excited to bring you guys this challenge right now. Dedrick and Crystal, do you, do you want to maybe talk through one more time of like why now is such a great time to be getting into this? Why you wanted to do a challenge right now? Like give people a little bit of context on on who are jumping into real estate right now. Yeah, like we talked about last week, um, again, it's been an extreme seller's market since COVID. The market mm -hmm. went crazy and now it's dying down, right? It's not crashing like everybody's like, oh, my God, the real estate market's going to crash. Trust me, it's not going to crash anytime soon, just given the demographics of supply and demand. But again, the seller's market is easing. We're shifting back towards a more balanced market or a buyer's market. And what that means is as an investor, you're going to be able to get better deals. Um, in addition, you got uh, really a recession going on. So a lot more people are going through financial distress, companies having layoffs. You got the baby boomers aging out. So all these different macro forces are coming together to make it a perfect time to get into real estate to help people by buying their distressed properties and really to build wealth. So it couldn't be a better time to get into the business. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I think the main thing that holds people back from really taking that, that step and really doing their first deal that we see over and over again is finding that great deal and funding that great deal, you know, being able to get, solve both sides of the equation. That's what our goal is over these seven days is to come in here and help you get that playbook to go do exactly those two things, find and fund great deals. So, um, just a quick intro for me, Matt Camp over here with Deal Machine, run partnerships over here. Uh, the playbook we share with you guys, we've seen work literally 10,000 times over, over 10,000 deals done using Deal Machine. We hit that milestone last year. That was awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that was really, really cool to celebrate that. I will say, you know, there's definitely a, a big, big thank you and big, you know, big chunk that came from you guys. Like you two were two of our earliest people really jumping in and using this thing. So can, actually, can you tell your story of, uh, you know, how you found your mm -hmm. just really quick one more time too? Yeah. So uh, watching a friend of our YouTube video on the things that he used most in his business. And this was like 2017. 2017. Mm -hmm. And this was one of them. And so I immediately downloaded the app and... I 
I told Dedrick about it. And I was like, hey, it's this new app that you can use to help find properties. And he was like, yeah, no, we're not investing. <laughs> we're not paying for one more software. We hadn't closed any deals. We hadn't made any money. She was like, I want to sign up for this new software. <laughs> He was like, like, no, yeah. we're not you got to thank Crystal. That's who. That's who. Uh... That's exactly who you got to thank. <laughs> he shut it down. Didn't even look at me when he said no. He was like, no, we ain't signed up for not a. I didn't look up nothing. from the computer. I was he like, did. nope. <laughs> yeah. So of course I started using it. You she know, didn't listen naturally. Hard headed. Um, you and all he doing. knew was I would just say, "Hey, slow down! I got to get this property. Slow down!" Every time we were driving, he was like, "What is you doing?" Yeah, I'm like, you keep asking me to stop. Like somebody's gonna rear end us. What are you talking about? Slow down. <laughs> And I'm adding these properties to the app. Then I got my mother to start driving with me because he wasn't on board. So I got my mom to start deal finding for us and adding properties into the app. And then all of a sudden, I went full time in the business June 7th, 2017. Um, no, uh, June 8th, 2018. 2018. So and we fired her boss. June 8th, that next week. Um, we had all of a sudden, I think it was three. We started with three. He had three contracts. Wow. And, and he was is, like, what is going on? He was like, yo, this cold calling is working. And she had been using the app for like three or four months, unbeknownst to me, and adding all these properties <laughs> and sending out mailers to him. So we're starting to get phone calls coming in. I'm like, oh, we were doing a cold calling campaign. I'm like, oh, okay, well, this is working. These cold calls, are, these property owners are calling us back. And she was like, uh, no, no, this is from Deal Machine. And I was like, what's Deal Machine? She's like, don't even matter. Just talk to this person. Let's get it under contract. <laughs> and that's what we started doing. Yep. And once he found out, we had ended up with, within two weeks, I think we had five contracts. And then he was like, yo, what is this? Um, yeah. What, what, let's talk about this app. Yeah, we need to do more of this. Whatever yeah, you're doing. He immediately fired the cold callers we had and doubled down. He was like, yo, let's put more money into this app thing that you got. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and look, we made about a half a million from mm -hmm. deals from Deal Machine within six months. And year. mind you, we had been I'm trying to it. close deals for like a year and we kept falling short. We were trying to do it ourselves. We hadn't hired a mentor yet. And again, it was when we started using Deal Machine where the floodgates opened mm -hmm. and just we started closing deals left and right. We hired a mentor and we just took off. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and that's what I mean. One, I love that story. Like the fact that you guys and you went all in, you know, you're clearly clearly a great team. You really compliment each other, you know, uh, and, and in general, uh, you know, that's why we love teaming up with you guys in general is, 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 hey, we've you've been with us since the beginning. We started 2017 going into 2018. Like you're one of the, the first people to really jump and go all in with it, build your business around it. And a lot of these processes, it's again, like it's you guys sharing your secret sauce. And, you know, it's our first real challenge together. So uh, this has already already been fun. You know, going through this, the first training, this second one is, uh, again, the second live about halfway through. And then Monday is the the, the grand finale here for everybody on here. So, um, yeah, that's a little background on us. Um, again, we, we've done, you know, a 30-day version of this where Ryan Haywood took that. It's done 400-plus deals since then. Um, he's now the co-host of uh, the Deal Machine podcast with David, you know, somebody else that a lot of what we share here is based off customers like Ryan. And then Patrick, we talked about last time too. He's somebody who went from, you know, sleeping in his truck, trying to figure out how to change the situation in life. And, you know, do dove all in on real estate on Deal Machine, did 14 deals in 10 months. And he, you know, uh, went through and had that quote and like, was, you know, that, that's why we do it is to, to help enable people like this to take action, get out there. Yeah and go find deals and fun deals. That's the goal with uh, with this challenge here, guys. So um, what the challenge looks like, again, we, we had the first one on Monday. If you are signed up on the webinar jam, if you're on social media and you go to that, theapplyschallenge.com, you will sign up for the, uh, you'll, you'll get all the replays, you'll sign up for the emails and all that. The final live training for this thing is gonna be on Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So same time, same place. We'll give you that playbook again, each, each one of these trainings help you overcome challenges. So we'll really try to leave some time for Q and A at the end. And then we're going to give you homework and, and hold you accountable to that. Like we're, we don't want this just to be you sitting on here listening. Uh, you'll get a lot out of that, but what you'll get way more out of is putting that into practice, right? Is yeah. taking what you learn here and, you know, get out there and right now, don't, don't say someday I'm going to do this, like do it right now. Yep. <laughs> so uh, that, that was what was so cool to get off the last call. We had people turning the homework like immediately after that first call. So that was, that was pretty awesome to see. Yeah, how, that was great. Yeah, yeah. How many people did that? Um, you know, that's, that's our goal. Like every day, give you the homework, you know, have you follow through with this 
And if you do, if you actually continue to do this, you're going to qualify for over 12 grand of free stuff. Again, the most we ever Ooh, given away. That's, like that. that's crazy. Yeah. So uh, let's give away the first one. Like your homework today, guys, we'll, you know, we'll do, uh, you know, we had 40 something people turn in the homework, which is amazing. I love it. Give yeah. it up. That's a lot of action takers yes. right there. Half awesome. the people who are on the call turned in their homework. And the guys, that's the difference between sitting on the sidelines and actually taking action. Those action takers are going to be the ones that actually get results. So take that action. Love that, that was more people than probably turned in homework at school. Because I know, you know, <laughs> you know you didn't turn mine in your came homework. up missing a little bit. I know I ain't the only one. Last minute scribbling while they talked about hands it in. Yeah. <laughs> we had a few people get in on just under the buzzer though. So Listen, I, if, hey. if it yeah. was oh, paying, I see Neville, Neville the past. We went to high school together. Listen, you know, you know what time it was, Neville. If it was paying <laughs> like this is paying, then I'd have turned it in on time. The right. dog ate it. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. I love this is great in the chat. Jump in the chat, say if you did the homework. Like put put that in there. I'd love to know. But um, Who did the dog homework. ate it. That's right, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, again, if you missed it this time, that's okay. You've got the grand prize opportunity. You've got one more chance to turn in by Monday. We're going to be giving away the rest of the prizes on Monday. But today, for everyone that did turn it in, that actually followed through. We're going to be giving away, again, one grand prize winner is going to win over $4,500 of free stuff right now. It's on our end. It'll be an entire year of Deal Machine Pro, which Deal Machine Pro, that is like, that basically unlocks everything. Deal Machine Teams, great if you're going to do it at higher volume, but Pro, you've got every feature unlocked, all the mail, all the AI stuff, all of the you know list driving, all of the direct mail is going to be cheaper. You've got fifty or uh, yeah, fifty thousand leads on Pro. So that's like Deal Machine God mode. Yes, what you're about to unlock. Yeah. I mean, a whole a whole year. <laughs> like you're obligated to do deals with that thing, right? So uh, someone's going to win that right now. What are they going to win from you guys? I know you, you're giving away a huge prize too. Yes, we are giving away to one lucky individual. Uh, a seat to our four-week live virtual wholesaling masterclass. So this is over four weeks. We're going to deep dive into all the intricacies of how to wholesale houses. We got people who come out of this class. During the class, they're closing deals and getting deals on the contract and making money. So it's it's super powerful. So we're going to give away one of those valued at over $3,000. Amazing. That is awesome. I love seeing people jump in the chat talking about their, the homework they did here too. They, uh, if again, if you're on social media, you just all you got to do is go to that uh, www.thepoliteschallenge.com, and that's where you're going to get the homework, email reminders, how to turn it in, all that stuff. Um, by the end of this call today, we're going to be talking through what's the homework today. You know, we'll go through a training after this giveaway. We'll give you homework and we'll show you how to turn it in. And if you do all of that, you'll qualify for the huge grand prize giveaways on Monday. But for everyone that did follow through, let's let's give do a giveaway, guys. Like this is worth it. over let's forty do it. So, uh, drum roll, please. Let me pull up the spinner here. I've got everybody no, listed question. out. Yes. On the on the on the giveaway, are we giving it both to one person or one to each? So today, to that's you know what today I had pictured all to one person, but I, I'll give it your your call. I'll, how about that? Do you think we should do two? We had a lot of people. Let's do two. Two? Let's do two. (laughs) All right. Let's do it. Look at that spinner. You got the spinning wheel and everything. Like, oh, yeah. We got this lined up. Here, let me me pull this up. Uh, Share screen on social, too. Perfect. So, is the first person, are they getting the ticket from you and then the second one, Deal Machine, or what do you you choose? (laughs) Well, why why don't we get Deal Machine to throw in? Let's do it. We're doing double. Yeah, let's do a double. Double? Okay. Double, uh, you, you double? Want... Wait, what are we talking? Hold on. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> what y'all think we should do in the chat? Let us know. <laughs> Ariana said, let's do two. Let's, let's yeah, do we're going to do two. So we're doing two? two? Wait, what, what well, is one double. doubles? What is the double? Deal machine and four week masterclass. No, oh, let's no. do one person for each. Clear. One yeah, person for each. That's okay. what I thought you meant. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Just make one sure person for each. I know how crazy you're getting over there. <laughs> they confusing me. I'm like, damn, what? So there, we one go. there we go. No, All right. I, I could settle for that. I could settle for that. All right. So this first one's going to be Deal Machine. All right. All first right. one is a year of Deal Machine free. You get everything unlocked. Deal Machine God mode, like you said. Uh, and we'll, you know what? We'll throw in $100 of free uh, postcards too. Oh, I so need we'll- that. 
Do what? I said, I said, I need that in my life. There we go. So $100 of free mail and a year deal machine. Let's do you. And actually, you got to be, we talked about this. You got to be on live. So whoever we, you know, whoever the spinner selects, you got to be on into the chat and say, this is me. And we'll give you like a minute. We'll give you like, what, 60 seconds. So we're going to have a timer yeah. going. You got to do that. You got to hit under the buzzer. You got to let us know you're here. And then we'll award that. So we've got a bunch of people on live. Everybody get ready. Get ready to type your name in the chat if this is you. Here we go. Ready? Drum roll, please. Here we go. Let's see. And survey says... Ashley Guerrero. Ooh, all right, Ashley, you here? Is Ashley here? I, I... Is Ashley here? Uh, Jump in the chat. With a real Ashley, please stand up. Ashley Guerrero. Uh -huh. This is a year deal machine. Uh oh, the timer is ticking. <laughs> I don't see Ashley in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> don't miss your blessing, Ashley. I think as Ashley done missed it. Oh no, you can't you can't put in the work and then not show up. It's so brutal. <laughs> Joe says, "Nah, you spelled my name. <laughs> Go Ashley. She's not here. Go She's ahead. not Where's here. Ashley at? Oh wow. Well, all right. Well, we're gonna have another lucky winner. Ashley yeah. missed out. I'll give her. We got 15 oh, more Bessie, seconds on my timer. Bessie's here. I know that's right. <laughs> I love Ariana. <laughs> right, so Ashley's gone. Next. She's not here. Okay. Well, that's how you gotta be when you talk to these sellers. Next. Right. Next. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Next one. Here we go. Spin again." All right. She's gonna be so mad when she watches this. That, replay. Yeah, that's <laughs> we've had it happen before. Yeah, uh, like, please remove her name, take her name off. <laughs> Brenda, Holmes. Brenda, Holmes. Brenda Holmes, is she in the building? Please don't Brenda tell me Holmes. it's two, two that ain't on. All right, Brenda, are you here? This is Ariana said, I'm here. Give you guys a minute. Your name is not Brenda Holmes, Ariana. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Brenda. Brenda. Man, we've got, got where's Brenda? Let's see here. I don't know if Brenda's here. She hasn't stood up yet. Oh man. Is that two who gonna miss their blessing? Oh no, Brenda. Don't make us do it again. All right. Well, we got 30 seconds for Brenda to uh yeah, we got 30 more somebody seconds. Somebody text her or something. Hold on, Ariana Gonzalez. <laughs> Is that the same? Is that, Ari, no, Ariana. Bre Ariana. Ashley, Ashley is Ariana is Ashley on oh on Facebook. Interesting. You know what, Ariana? Email me direct and I'll uh and I'll so I'll Ariana, you're that. saying you're Ashley? Girl, who are you running from? <laughs> How you got two different names? Who are you running from? Hold on, yeah. we got to see some ID. <laughs> Ariana, email me direct. And uh, you know, maybe we'll give away an extra free deal machine here. Well, if, if we can uh if we right. can, you yeah, have, you get the ID ID, ID yeah. social <laughs> um that's hilarious. passport. We're gonna need a whole yeah. ID on that. That's two whole people. It ain't even like Ariana <laughs> Guerrera, it's Ariana Gonzalez. It's a whole nother name. <laughs> Just mad at dealmachine.com. Ashley email me. There we go. So all right, uh idea. we Man. said government. So, you guys gotta show up live. You're turning in the whole you're doing the hard part, but you're not showing up. All right, here we right. go. Ugh. Third one. All right, third Brenda. One. Third. Here we go. Let's see. All right. Oh, oh. Who's that? Diane. Dion, Dion Phoenix. That's a cool name. Dion Phoenix. Where you at? All right. Let's see here. Bessie oh. said, I need the wholesale and sell rare class. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that person name come through the chat. I, I don't think so, so either. I'm, I'm trying to look at the attendees and see if they come up at all. Man, you got to show up. Oh, though, oh, I'm here. Yes, hey. Dion's here. Woo. Congrats. Congratulations, all right. Dion. All right. <laughs> Joe said no. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody give, give Dion a uh, congrats here. I, I will say congrats, I mean, again. Dion. This is awesome that, you know, it's great that we're giving away this stuff. You know, the real prize, again, is doing deals, right? Like, the real prize is yes. just continuing to follow through with this stuff. But now, Dion, you are, like, uh, committed to going doing deals now. You've got everything you need on the on the tech side. And then, uh, you know, Ashley, again, email me direct, and we can do a little ID verification, see if we can get you an extra <laughs> an extra prize here. So, uh, last Friday. That was exciting. I so like we that. got one more. It's different, but I did all this. Is you guys, yeah. Uh, Ariana, you didn't hear him when he said, "Email him directly, and he'll take care of you." <laughs> what 
Ariana's still trying to prove herself in the chat. Right, right. girl, we got email you. Email your verification. Did you get his email? <laughs> he put it in there and everything. With Matt at dealmachine.com, right? Yes. We we saw you, baby. We're gonna take care of you. Just make sure you had an ID. There we go. All right. So uh we got one more to do, right? Yes. One more. This is for the four week wholesaling accelerator. Where you get us. Here we this is huge. This is I mean, this is worth what you said, three grand. <laughs> Minimum. That's amazing. I mean, what it's worth what financial freedom, right? <laughs> hey, exactly. Like that, um, is it repeating for anyone else? Because Kristen said it's hard to hear. Could everybody else hear us? Can, is it hard to hear for anyone else? What are you on, Kristen? A landline? What what you know? <laughs> I know last week we had a little technical, yeah. but I think we good today. Yeah, I just want to make sure ain't nobody else having no issues. All right, that's good. Cool. Well. Okay. Yes, we can hear you. We got yeah. it. Perfect. Okay. okay. Here, here's the third one. This, this is the uh, accelerator. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh man. I think I saw the Neville, you almost had it, man. Me and Neville <laughs> go way back to high school up in Boston. Patrice oh, McRaven. McRaven. Oh, I like that last name. Congratulations. Is Patrice here? He's in here. I'm almost positive that Patrice was in here. Where you at, Jump Patrice? Don't claim your prize. Somebody Jump said not point. at all. <laughs> <laughs> These comments, oh. uh, I'm here for them. Uh, Neville, you might win the grand prize. We'll, uh, you know. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Patrice. All right. You know I'm here. Patrice. Okay. There we go. That's oh, what I'm talking about. Congrats, Patrice. Love it. Congrats, Fantastic. Patrice. You about to have some fun with us. <laughs> it's awesome. So here I'll I'll throw the slides back up again. Yeah, um, model for are they contacting you directly? Yes. Uh so we will reach out um on here. Let me throw these back up, guys. So uh yeah, I'll I'll reach out on um since we've got all everybody who signed up for the webinar jam. Uh again, if you're if you're watching on social, it's www.thepoliteschallenge.com. Make sure to do that um to, to get on all the email notifications, mm -hmm. all this stuff to win these prizes. <laughs> But um, I'll reach out direct via email and then, uh, you know, we'll make sure, you know, maybe we're giving away an extra prize here if we've got uh, <laughs> right. an ideal situation. So uh, perfect. There's the timer. You got it in, Patrice. Perfect. Patrice <laughs> said it's about to be lit. That's right. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, um, that that was awesome that time again we're gonna be giving away way more than that for uh for monday for the kick for the uh yes. grand prize. So you definitely so. want to make sure you locked and loaded with us because you it's more being given away oh next yeah week. yeah that was just a little bit a little taste so we're gonna be doing monday you got to turn in the homework you got to be showing up live on monday you got to you know to qualify for the grand prize here you got to go through and follow through you got to turn the homework the right place um i've oh, got my team going in verifying who all is turning the homework so uh, stick around for this full training. You'll know exactly what to do. And again, it's a challenge. It's going to be challenging. We're going to push you guys out of your comfort zone to go complete these things. But mm -hmm. if you do, you're going to qualify for a ton of free stuff. And on top of that, you're well on your way to doing doing no money down deals. So yep. um, there we go. Quick, quick recap uh, for everybody. I, I know I want to touch on this briefly before we get into the real training here. Um, last time for everybody who, uh, if you were on here, awesome. Uh, you know, you might catch you know, something uh, new this time and, and just kind of reiterate that you're doing the right thing. Um, I'll only spend a minute on this, but uh, if you missed the first time, again, if you're on social, make sure to go to that thepolitechallenge.com and you'll get the replay for that. Uh, but last time we went through this, you know, and really identified, uh, you guys call it the money list, right? Yes. <laughs> the money list. The money list. That was, uh, you gave away some really, really good stuff with that. So here, I'll pull it up on Deal Machine one more time. The whole goal, actually, you, do you want to talk about like why, you know, uh, why step one's building your list, who you're trying to, who is that list? Like, can you reiterate a little bit for me there? Yeah. So um, building your list is super important because this is who you're targeting. Right. And it got to make sense. There has to be. Um, and, you know, of course, there's other investors who are building these lists. Your chances and your odds go up um, with this, what, the list that we call the money list. Because these individuals are owning 10, 20, 30 properties, right? They're not <clears throat> just regular sellers. They, exactly. One house. Mm -hmm. They are older as well. So you know that they're elderly. They're in that silver segment is what we call it. So your chances are if someone owns 30 properties, they've owned them for 30 years. What's the odds that they're going to want to sell at least one? Somebody said they can't hear. 
Uh, can everybody else hear us? You might have to click the screen if you just joined. Oh, okay. There you go. Um, what are the chances that they are willing to sell you one property, which is all you need? They own 20. So I think the other big thing, guys, is that uh, there's a huge wealth transfer that's about to happen. <clears throat> the baby boomers, which are our grandparents and great grandparents, 60, 70, 80, 90 year olds, they are passing away, right? Each day, yep. millions of them are unfortunately passing away, but they have $84 trillion of wealth between businesses they own, land, real estate. And that wealth is going to get transferred to our generation, people in their 30s, 40s, and 50s. That's happening every single day. So the question is, what are you doing to position yourself for that wealth transfer, right? Learning how to do wholesaling, learning how to do creative finance deals, how to buy rental properties, that is positioning yourself to be a recipient of that wealth transfer, right? If you just sit on the sidelines and do nothing, you're going to get nothing. So you guys are in the, in the perfect position. Absolutely. So, so what that looked like to take it step by step for identifying those people again, deal machine, um, we're a software to help you go find off market deals. You know, you can use data to do that. You can drive for dollars with us. You can, you know, build your list in a couple different ways. And then today we'll also talk about what to do without those leads, how to, how to reach out to them, how to have conversations with them. Um, but you know, inside the actual technology, we went through, and again, if you want step by step the whys and and you know the reasoning behind creating this exact search, uh, go revisit the um, you know revisit the the first training there that we did, the, you know the replay on that. But I saved this uh, list here for you. What we went through is we picked an area, so we picked uh, I think it was St. Charles County. We picked. Um, I'm in St. Louis, so if anyone's local, always looking to connect here. Uh, make sure actually jump in the chat and say where you're based as well. I don't, I don't think we, uh, you know, oh, we did. In the beginning. Yep. do that. Use this as a networking opportunity. Like use this, use this as a chance to kind of team up with each other too. So yep. jump in the chat there, be able to comment uh, where you're based out of what we did to show off the, the list building and, and really give you homework around was coming in and we said, Hey, you know, go in and choose an area, a zip code, a city or a County. Put that in, when you look at Deal Machine, this top bar is the filters bar right here. So we we told you to go in here and enter that. You know, we entered St. Charles County right there. And then the next step was, okay, once you have that big area, it's going to highlight for you. Like, um, you know, I'll do, uh, let's just do South City, St. Louis here. Uh, you know, I chose that zip code. It's going to highlight that entire area for you. And then based on that criteria, we went through and said, hey, you know, how do we then identify those people that, you know, that Dedrick and Crystal are talking about? We went through and we built this entire uh, kind of criteria together. We went to off-market properties. We That's put the golden in, triangle you just built right there. I didn't know there you we go. Triangle going here. Yep. <laughs> That's, yeah, I mean, the cool thing too, like you see it visually like this. I mean, you can do one little area, right? I think we did St. Charles. Here, let me pull this up. St. Charles County. Uh, here we go. So we did this entire, yeah, we did this entire massive thing last time and pull this together where we went through and said, hey, show me all of the off-market properties in this area that are either single family, a townhouse or a condo uh, that also are not owner occupied. So they're not living there. Um, the owner isn't. Uh, it's residential. It hasn't been sold in 15 years. It's not corporate owned. So it's owned by an individual. And that individual owns 10 or more properties. So we went through that whole thing again. You got to watch the replay to really get a deep dive on why we chose that criteria, and you know, really showing you step by step how to select those individual things inside Deal Machine. If you're going to use Deal Machine to do this stuff, um, here is the seven day free trial as well. Uh, so I'll pull that up here for you too. But that will essentially give you, you know, seven days free to try this stuff out with us, and also all the challenge bonuses. You get a bunch of free postcards with it. You get all the free skip tracing with it. So. Um, we really talked that through last time as well around like, hey, you know, here, here's kind of all the, you know, the, the bonuses you get for being through this challenge. But I just want to reiterate that was kind of the, the goal was to pull that list and today show up ready to take action on that list. So if, if you haven't pulled it yet, make sure to watch the replay, make sure to, to go pull this. It takes only a few minutes to kind of follow it step by step like that. And, you know, the 40 plus people that came here with it ready to go, that was awesome. So, um Anything else you wanted to touch on there about building the list itself? I mean, I think, like you said, the list is everything. If you don't have a list that you're targeting, you don't have a business, right? In real estate, especially if you're looking to wholesale, even if you're looking to buy and hold, that is your marketing universe. That's who you're targeting. Um, so it, it all starts with that list. 
Absolutely. Oh, we got quite a few people in North Carolina. We got people from all over the country, though. Uh, oh, yeah. Every time zone here. It's fantastic. Oh, make sure y'all connect with us. Oh, make yeah. Sure we on y'all buyers list. There you go. Austin got one property in the contract now. Sending out another one after the stream. There Amazing. That's all. Austin, you're it. the one that's in uh, St. Charles, right? You're, I think he's the one who. who yeah, he said he's the for. one who. <laughs> The <laughs> list works, guys, that's crazy. It's literally the exact list we built. He's, he's already working. So uh, that's awesome. South Carolina. Oh, that's, that's one of my our home state. Yeah, one of our areas. Phenomenal. Burlington NC. Okay. I know that place. So I know we better be on your cash buyers list, Melissa. Hey, listen, guys, we buy nationwide. So um it, it don't have to be in North Carolina. If it's an apartment building, mobile home park, multifamily, we will buy nationwide. As long as the numbers make sense, we'll buy anywhere. Love it. So, well, that's going to kind of get us into, like you said, as long as the numbers make sense, you know, the, the next step here today is now that we've got that list or everybody's either shown up with it, ready to go, or they know their homework to catch up is to go pull that list. The next step is what do we do with it? How do we take it and turn these addresses into, into deals, right? Into, into conversations, into appointments, into, you know, actual offers and, and contracts. So, um, do you want to kind of go through, I know uh, you talked a little bit about your conveyor belt marketing method last time. I'd love to start there and have you kind of reiterate that. If there's anything in deal machine that I can show off with that, um, I, I can chime in and, and do that too. But maybe, uh, you know, Crystal and Dedrick, can you start off kind of, you know, uh, telling everybody how the conveyor belt market marketing method works and what that is? Yep, absolutely. And you can actually be showing it in deal machine. Cool. So when we say a conveyor belt, that means um, people receive their information differently. So let's take, for instance, my mother who's in her 60s, right? You're going to have a better chance of reaching her through a phone call. Um, she's just now getting real hip with texting, you know, <laughs> but phone calls, mails, you're going to get her. Now, someone my age or a little older demographic, you can reach us through texting, Right. You're not going to reach me through mail. It's just not going to happen because I rarely check my mail. Everything comes electronically to me, email, any bill, anything that's coming electronically. So I check my mail sparingly and I never pick up my phone. So <laughs> you get so many cold calls, so many spam calls. You ain't going to catch me through a phone call, but you will catch me through text. So that's why we use the conveyor belt method. Right. And we always use the cheapest form of marketing first for us, which is cold calling, right? So inside of Deal Machine, the great thing is a Deal Machine has now that it didn't have when we first started off is mm -hmm. free skip tracing. Mm -hmm. um, and they actually, their data has gotten so much better. It is ridiculous. It's crazy. Um, but they have free skip tracing. So every lead that you put in, you're going to have some phone numbers for, whether it's for the lead, a family member. Yesterday in one of Dedrick and I coaching um, sessions, we literally were cold calling people on the spot, right? And from leads from Deal Machine, inside of Deal Machine. Um, the numbers, I'm telling you, are just amazing now. That data is amazing. So coming from cold calling, as you can see, multiple numbers, and I know a lot of people will say, hey, well, what if it says do not call? <laughs> yeah. I mean, did we, so we get that question all the time. Uh, I'll say you, it's your decision, but you also have like, you know, it doesn't mean do not text or your mail or door knock or you've got yeah, other. Yeah. Apps, right? I'm going to tell you what, it, what happens when we when we see the call. We call. And if they say, hey, well, I, I'm, I'm on the do not call list. Oh, I apologize. I was unaware. No problem whatsoever. I'll go ahead and remove you from my list. You will never hear from me again. But hey, listen, while I have you, um, you know, in case you know of anyone else who may be looking to sell, I do give a $5,000 referral fee for any property that, you know, I can get under contract and buy, you know, just in case you may know someone or a neighbor's house or anyone's home that you went by that you see, you know, look a mess. P I, we always like to lead with money. Because people who start off like, uh, no, I'm going to do not call it. As soon as you say, hey, listen, I got a $5,000 referral fee for anyone who, you know, any property that you can give me the contact information. For. Then they'd be like, wait, wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. What? Wait, what'd you say you did again? 
And this happened to us. We've done it hundreds and hundreds, thousands of times when cold calling. And we've had our cold callers say the same thing. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure we leave off with a positive message, but also trying to hurry up and get that plug in as well. So do not call. You don't have to call, but we do. And if they say, hey, I'm on a do not call list, we just say, oh, I apologize. I was unaware. We will definitely go ahead and remove you from the list. However, so, but what's next? Text messaging. Deal Machine did not have a text feature when we first started using it. So this is amazing. And not only does it have a text feature where you can text, it has the AI that Dedrick loves so, so much. Oh, yeah. It's got the artificial intelligence. So you see that little blue, <laughs> that little blue um, portal right there? Oh, yeah. You know, because it's always like, fellas, right? You go about to text a girl, you're like, what do I say? What's the perfect message that's going to get the response I want? You can ask the AI's assistant, hey, it says, what, well, help me write an SMS message to send to the owner. It's going to craft a message to the owner. Hey, I'm interested in your property. Any thoughts on selling? If you don't like it, you can say try again, and it's going to do another one. So it's super powerful. You can say, hey, make it less formal. Make it funny. And it's artificial intelligence. It will adapt to what you tell it. So we didn't have this type of stuff when we got started seven, eight years ago. So having these tools is, is next level. Yeah. What I will say, too, is I'm showing this off. If you're on the webinar jam, you're seeing me use it inside Deal Machine right now. Go through the, the AI tool. I had to turn off the screen share for YouTube so that way we're not sharing any phone numbers or anything. So if you're watching on you know social media, make sure to go to that www.thepolitechallenge.com and you'll get the full screen share of all this yeah, stuff. Get in the official room. Um, get get, get in go. behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. love it. Um, yeah, so there you go. So that's what it looks like in real time using the actual Deal Machine app is jumping in and you've got that little AI assistant. That's on the pro plan specifically. So you're going to want to do Deal Machine Pro for that. Uh, but you know, the list that we pulled, like you mentioned, you know, we never touched the skip trace button last time. Like it, it, it pulled exactly. all these numbers right here, all contact info included. It's, it's awesome to hear you say how accurate those numbers are too. Like we have he invested heavily into that accuracy. And so it's, it's great to hear it's paying off, but, um, oh, yeah. yeah. So Jesse said, most of the lists I pull had DNC girl. Hey, we're not gonna tell you what to do, but right. do what's best for you. I didn't even I don't even <laughs> see that DNC. Okay. And you don't see it either. I promise yeah. you. What do you say? It's better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, and then what do you do after that? You've cold called, you've text, then you hit them with a mailer, right? And for yeah. us, um, we keep ours on mailer for at least a year. So once a month, they're getting a, a postcard or a letter from us for 12 months. And you may say, why Why is that? So, I mean, Matt, you guys probably got the stats. Like how many times does someone yeah. have to see a marketing message or ad before they even recognize it, let alone respond to it? Yeah, great question. So looking at the data overall, this and this is exactly why mail sequences and automation is so important. Like the methods we teach on our end is what we call a short-term marketing, which is what you already touched on, one-to-one -one marketing, like cold calling, texting, door knocking, anything like that that takes a lot of, you know, it takes one-to-one -one effort. Um, the direct mail, the great thing about it is that you can automate it, like you said, you can say, hey, send them this postcard every 21 days and just repeat it forever or repeat it you know, 10 times or 12 times or however many times you want to put in here, just one click of a button. Set it and forget yep. it. Yeah, exactly. Set it and forget it. Automate that whole thing. It's long-term marketing. And looking at the stats, looking at the data, if you have the exact right person, they're going to sell, they're going to actually tra you know, transact on their property. Uh, if you've only reached out one time to them with direct mail like this, I know it's it's like 85% of the time you're not getting a call back. You're not getting any anything back from them if you've only reached out one time with this method. If yep. you've reached out three times, uh, it's like 52% of the time, you're still not getting that call back. Mm -hmm. So you got to put them on that long-term sequence and stay in front yes. of them. Um, yeah. I'll mention in Deal Machine, the awesome thing, and here, let me uh, pause this mail. The awesome thing about inside Deal Machine is that you can actually go in and in the mail tab right here, you can go to the postcards and create all kinds of different templates, all kinds of different, uh, uh, you know, wording, sizing. You can do handwritten letters. You can really switch it up, and all of those things are going to change, like increase your conversion rate, your response rates. So yes, yeah. And one of the things I have for hours is we have, of course, different mailers 
Um, and you know, when we got started, the most popular ones were the ones with um, the picture of the house. The house. People mm -hmm. would always be like, "That's the reason they were called back." Yep, you is... were by my house. You drove by my house. You take whether it was good or bad, they were calling back. So I took it as a good sign, right? Mm -hmm. But we have it for everything. We have mailers for pre foreclosures. We have mailers for land. Uh, we have mailers for probates. We have mailers for tired landlords specifically. We even have mailers for individuals giving them options to either have us buy the house um, or partner with, or us, partner so with us on flip flipping the house. So you can literally create a mailer for any and all exit strategies. And yep. guess what, guys? These mailers are what, 50 cents, Matt? Yeah, it's not one postcard. Mm -hmm. Depending upon the plan you're on, it's anywhere between 50 and 60 cents. So it's pretty much at cost. So 50 to 60 cents. So let's say you send out one a month for a year, 12 mailers, 60 cents. What is that? Like five, six bucks? Right. Yeah. Like that. yeah. But you mail a thousand people once a month for a year. What's that going to cost you? You know, it may cost you three to five, what, five grand, six grand. But that lands you five deals where you make $20,000 on each deal. So you spent 5,000 in marketing over the course of a year, but you made 100,000 in wholesale assignment fees. Is it worth it? Absolutely. So we yeah. look at that marketing as an investment, mm -hmm. right? How much can you put in and how much are you going to get back? So typically, you know, we see about a, a 10 to one return on marketing. So you spend a dollar, you get back $10, right? You spend 10,000, you get back 100,000. So looking at, look at it as an investment and all it takes is one postcard to get a deal. Right. You get that one deal that pays for your marketing. Everything else on top of that is, is typically gravy. Yep. And for even for this challenge, we have mailers that are specific to seller finance. So they're going out to the landlords, really pre creating um, a conversation around them creating, um, keeping that passive income and us um, financing the property from them. These are landlords. So you got to understand the list that you pulled, these people, this was their retirement plan and it's working perfectly. Um, a lot of them are retired and living off the living cash, flow, off the cash flow, the mailbox money. So if you can show them and tell them, Hey, listen, you can continue to live off the cash flow now without the headaches of the tenants in the toilets then you're more inclined to get their attention. getting their attention. So we have mailers that are geared towards um, lists just like this that are that's the language is specifically targeting um, seller finance. And we always get someone back. We always get people back wanting to know more information. What do you mean about uh, this? This uh, so how can I keep getting money? But don't have to worry about this property. That's no how more. they sound. Right? That's how they sound. Because you know, as you a lot, a majority of the time, it's always males. You know, well, men. why they gotta sound dumb like that? Because what they no, they that don't sound dumb. It was just you know, <laughs> older men. Uh, uh. What you mean? Uh, I can still get money and not own the property, but it starts a conversation because our uh, mailer is kind of teasing them. So. Mm -hmm. Somebody say I cannot see anything. Shanita, you can't see anything. Depends can, on what where are you at? Are you on YouTube? Can or everybody you the... else? Hmm. Anybody else can't see us? Interesting. Uh yeah, Shanita, if you're see, can you think say anything about the deal machine logo? If you Terry uh, said is that you know, price with postage or without postage? That's included. That's all in. So that, that's all you in. just hit send mail and it's gonna do it's gonna literally send the whole thing for you. You don't have to worry about anything else. And it's just fit 50 to 60 cents, depending upon the plan you're on with us. So and when we started, it was like 99 cents, a postcard, 99 cents, yeah. a skip trace. We've gotten better. Um, but again, it was well worth it. it like was, I said, like, you know me, I'm I'm frugal. She said yes, I'm cheap Lord. and frugal, but I yes, saw the return on investment. I'm like, I want to spend more. How much can we spend? Because I see deals coming in from all these postcards and these mails that we're sending out. So love that for, for your direct mail, what was, I mean, you kind of hinted at it a little bit. Is there any like specific wording that you can remember that you, that you have seen work? I really think well? it's, it's no, it's no magic wording guys. The, mm -hmm. the key is consistency. Like you said, Matt, most yeah. investors, they'll call once or call twice and they don't get a hold of someone. Guess what? They give up. Oh, they're not interested. Mm -hmm. You don't know. You just called and at the wrong time, you couldn't catch them. 
right? They'll send two or three postcards over three months. They didn't call me back. Oh, it's a lost cause. You, you drive by the house four months later, somebody's fixing it up. They ended up selling, but because you gave up. So consistency, we set it on 12 months on repeat, set it and forget it. So we mm -hmm. know they're going to get hit 12 times. Whether they call back or not is not, we're not concerned with that because we're concerned with the consistency. If you do the activity, you're going to see the results. So yeah. I can find our, I can pull our postcards up. Um, Matt, can you send it out tomorrow yeah. or, yeah. okay. I can yeah, pull, you, um, pull it up and get the, it to me, mm -hmm. the Cool. If you send it to me, I'll send it out to the email list that's registered. Again, if you're watching on social media, another good reason. You got to go to www.thepoliteschallenge.com. You'll sign up and we'll get you that e the uh, the postcard design too. But Yeah. And um, Catherine, you're absolutely correct. Speak the language to their situation. Absolutely. And if you're this being the landlord list, aka the money list, um, mm -hmm. and a majority of these young uh, men and women are 60 plus years old. Um, mm -hmm. They are. You can filter tired. that too. You can yeah, literally absolutely. filter contact age if you want. So Yeah. A lot of them are tired. And you know yeah. when they know that they're tired? When you contact them. Um, yeah. A lot of them don't know. And they'll literally say, you know what? I wasn't thinking about selling. But now that you asked, uh, how much you talking? Yep. <clears throat> and now you're in a conversation to buy their property. And so all you need is one. That's it. You, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I, uh, can you dig into that next of like, hey, you know, I, now that they've got a great list, you know, they know how to market to it between, you know, the the contact information, deal machine, the direct mail, um, you know, kind of, you know, the, the conveyor belt you laid out there. Uh, what does that conversation look like? Like, can you talk through how to negotiate with a seller and really, you know, uh, open their eyes to what seller financing is? Yeah. So what does the conversation look like? So first of all, um, you make money as an investor when you solve pain, you solve problem. The bigger the problem you're able to solve for the seller, the more money you're going to make. So you have to look for people with problems. What are problems that you know, come from owning properties? Probate. Somebody dies and you inherited a property that you may not want. You may sound crazy. Someone doesn't want a house or property. Sometimes people are busy living their lives. They don't want to deal with it, right? Grandma's house. Hey, just I just want the cash and be move on with my life. <laughs> That's a problem you can solve by, by buying that property cash or wholesaling it to a cash buyer. Uh, divorce situations, job loss, different life situations that happens to all of us at one point in time, right? That's the one to 2% of the population that you are constantly sifting for. And when we find them, being able to offer them solutions. So what is it, what's the solution that most investors have? Most investors only have that one tool in their pocket, which I can give you a cash offer. Guess what? There's 2 million other investors saying the same thing. Mm. We buy houses, ugly houses. We'll give you a cash offer. What makes you different than every other investor that's beating down their door? What makes you different is being able to offer them what their asking price is. Okay. So here's an example, Matt. This seller has a duplex. You know, they've owned it for 30 years. It's paid off. You know, they put their kids to school. They get, you know, a couple thousand dollars a month for it. It's paid off, right? Um, they're 70 something years old. Now they're thinking about, you know, we want to be able to travel and not have to worry about this. We're ready to retire. You you send them a postcard, you, you get a, a make a cold call, you get them on the phone and say, hey, are you open to selling? They say, yeah, you know what? I, I am interested in selling. How much will you offer me? So now what you're going to do, instead of just giving them a cash offer, you're going to make them a cash offer, right? And we can show anybody how to do that. It's a simple formula. You know, after repair value times 70% minus repairs, minus your wholesale fee if you want to wholesale it. And that's your maximum allowable cash offer. That's the easy part. So you make them that offer. And guess what? They typically get offended. How many people have offered a, a seller 50 cents on the dollar, mm -hmm. 50%? And they're like, well, you know what? You know, you can just leave, right? Because <laughs> I'm not going to give my property away. Who's heard that before? We all have. I'm mm -hmm. not going to give it away. And I would feel the same way, right? I'm not going to sell my property for 50% off if I don't have to, right? Unless I have some something crazy going on where I need money really fast. So what's your alternative? Most people can't pivot when that happens. Yep. How do you pivot? When you pivot, you say, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I can give you the 300,000 you're asking. Here's how we have to structure it. I'm going to give you $10,000 down as a down payment. So now I'm going to owe you 290. What we'll do is we'll write up a promissory note and a mortgage. So now each month, I'm going to pay you $1,000 a month for the next 10 years. So that's 120,000 of payments you're going to get in addition to 10,000. And I'm still going to have a balance at the end of those 10 years. 
what I'm going to do at the end of 10 years is I'm going to do what's called a balloon payment. I'm either going to sell the property and write you a big check to pay off the remainder, or I'm going to refinance and pay you off at that point. So which do you prefer? Do you want the 160,000 cash now, or do you want the 300,000 paid out over time? And now they go, Hmm, you know what, son? No one's ever, no one's ever uh, presented that to me. Yo, let, tell me more about that, that finance offer. So that's literally what we do and what we've been doing for four or five years. And that's how we've gotten so many properties on owner financing, a hundred percent financing. Now I know some of you guys say, Oh, well, what about the interest? So that, and again, our first offer is only payments. So that yep. scenario is 0% interest. It's just payment. So each payment you make goes towards the principal and pays down that 290,000. So you're building equity with each payment. So sometimes the seller will ask, well, all right, well, you know, how much interest are you going to pay me? Here's how you respond, right? Negotiation 101. I learned this from a book called Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. Chris Voss is a former FBI negotiator. I read that one book, Never Split the Difference. That book has made me millions of dollars from negotiating these deals. So when they ask, all right, Matt, well, how much interest are you going to give me? You ask them the same, same question. You say, interest? Yeah. What about the interest? And you just be quiet and you see what they say. Because right, who he or she who says a number first loses. So they say, oh, well, I was thinking 4%. So now they threw out a number. You might have been thinking 5% or 6%. Well, I was thinking 3 <laughs> <laughs> Because interest rates right now are 7 and a half. So if they say 4 you say, uh, you, you don't agree right away. Because if you just say, yeah, let's do 4 they're going to be like, damn, I could have got yep. more interest out of him. You you play hardball. Uh, well, I don't know if I can do 4 I might be able to do 32 Notice I said 3.2. I didn't say 3.0. You want to say an odd number, right, to make them think like, all right, well, maybe, yeah, this guy. All right, let's settle on 3.4. So now you add the interest, and the interest is really simple. We have a calculator that you can use to calculate the interest payments, and they're going to make more money from the interest, but you can still win because guess what? You're going to pay them $1,000 a month, but you've looked up the rental comps, and in that area, you can rent it for $2,000 a month. So after paying them a thousand, paying the taxes, paying insurance, you're going to cash flow 500 bucks a month and you only have to put $10,000 down. But guess what? You don't even have to put down the $10,000. Now, hold on, because Austin had asked, what if you don't have $10,000? Let get that question. Yeah. That you don't have to put down. He's just throwing out a general number. Uh, I don't think we've, I don't even think we put 10000 down on apartment buildings and stuff. But right. So- Good question, Austin. What if you don't have the 10,000? Even when we do have the 10,000, we always got 10,000 lying around um, because we're real estate investors. We don't like using our own money. We like using OPM, other people's money. So how do you do that? It's called creative financing. Several ways you can come up with the 10 grand. Borrow it from a friend. Borrow it from a relative. Credit card. You can literally liquidate a credit card that has a $15,000 limit and turn it into cash and use that credit card as the down payment to buy an apartment building. We've done it multiple times. You can get a personal loan from your bank. Go into your bank. Hey, I like a personal loan for $12,000. As long as you have decent credit, they're going to give you a personal loan. So there's various ways you can get the 10 grand. One of our favorite ways to do it is a private loan. So one of our first private lenders was my mom. Um, she didn't make a ton of money, but she believed in us. And one of our first properties, we bought it for $15,000. We needed about 25 grand to do the renovation. We didn't have all the cash. She loaned us $10,000 to do the renovation. How do we pay her back? Once we fixed it up, we did the birth strategy, refinanced, and paid her back with interest. And then she was like, she made all my brothers, you know, loan me money yeah. for deals, and she had the whole family <laughs> going. But that's one way to do it. But yeah, with a private lender, you would borrow the money from them, and then again, when you sell the property or refinance, you would you would pay them interest, right? And then that's when you would pay them off. So we've literally um, come bought properties with no money out of pocket. We've even gotten paid to buy properties. How do you get paid to buy properties? Your down payment is ten thousand dollars. You borrow fifteen thousand. Closing cost is two thousand bucks. At closing, you're gonna walk away with a check for three grand because that's the difference between fifteen and twelve. So now you actually got paid to buy a property. So these are the creative financing techniques that they don't teach at school, and even most gurus don't teach this. But that's literally how you buy properties with no money down. Um, and just so you guys know, that down payment is gonna be conditional to what the property actually looks like, right? So if you're buying a single family house, <clears throat> we're never gonna put down 10,000. We put down probably less than 2% on every single property um, that we acquire. 
So don't get thrown off by like, oh my God, I don't even have the 10, So it's all negotiable. Down. The Everything down, is negotiable. The down payment is negotiable. If you only got two grand, you can say, hey, how about 2,000 down? 2,000 down. So you offer what you can afford to pay. And guess what? You can also wholesale these seller finance deals. Yes. So even if you don't have 2,000, you get it under contract with 2,000 down in affordable monthly payments where it cash flows. You come to Matt. Would you buy that deal, Matt? Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Well, you don't have to put down 25%. You can put down two grand. We'd buy it all day. So mm -hmm. you come to one of us and we'll gladly buy your seller finance terms deal from you. We'll give you five, 10 grand to take over your position in that deal. Why? Because we don't have to go to a bank now and qualify for a mortgage. Any investor is going to take, take that deal for seller finance. So you can still, and what you're doing is you're negotiating it. Even if you know you're going to wholesale it, you're negotiating it with that in mind as an investor, what can I get? my investor, my cash buyers to go for. Love it. Um, well, really appreciate you kind of like walking through the concept. You just even introducing that. I mean, the, the, I think a lot of people's eyes were just opened here on, in terms of like how to structure the deal, how to think through even just talking to the seller about how to get creative and positioning it against other offers and showing them how to stand out against everybody else that's trying to, you know, lowball people. Uh, really quick, we're getting a lot of really good questions in the chat. I know we only have a couple more minutes just for everybody else. Let's assign the homework and then can we go to the questions? I know you said, yeah. can you stick around for a little bit? Yep, Is that yep, right? yeah. yeah, let's do okay. it. Cool. Awesome. So we'll, we'll assign the homework for you guys of what to do and everyone who can stay on. Awesome. You know, we'll try to get through as many questions as possible. Uh, let me pull this up here too. I know Crystal, one thing uh, you had mentioned, are you still open to sharing any of the, uh, the giveaways, the contract uh, yeah. stuff? Okay. That yeah. would be amazing. We'll oh, we got some goodies too. for them. Amazing. Okay. Cool. Um, cool, cool. Yeah. You okay. Had it cool. Saved. So yeah. what we're going to do guys, uh, let me send you a link to this. Link. Okay. She told me to just send the link. <laughs> I want to put the link in so you can pull this up, Matt. Amazing. Okay. Hold on one sec. So you guys may be asking yourself, all right, like what paperwork do I need for this? What do I use? What paperwork do I need? What's this? Is this uh, paperwork that's applicable oh. across different states as well? He said, "Like, curious." Yeah, of course you want to. Um, so what it is in this pack is it's the what's included in here: the promissory note, um, the promissory note, the letter of intent, which is basically uh, uh, the two offers. Mm -hmm. um, no, actually, no. It's the letter of intent. It's the seller financing addendum that lays out the terms, and then it's a deed of trust. So the deed of trust yeah. is the mortgage document. Now. Different states, some of the laws vary state to state. So you want to get an attorney or title company in your state to review these documents. But these are the core documents that we use here in North Carolina to do these seller finance deals. And Matt, I'll send you the link so you can include it in the follow up um, email. In the follow up email. Cool. I'll send that out right after this, guys. So make sure to pay attention to your email. Um, you should be getting, you know, the, the reminder emails from me. If you're on social media, again, just go to that www.thepolitechallenge.com. Uh, on top of, you know, the, these, uh, well, one, thank you so much for including those contracts. Jump in the, in the chat and give a little thank you here to, to Dedrick and Crystal for that, throwing in that bonus. That is awesome. Um, you know, in addition to this, guys, the homework that's due on Monday, let's get to this real quick. Uh, you got to complete this if you want to enter for the grand prize giveaway. So, you know, the first homework assignment was going in, pulling your list, building your list of at least 200 properties. You know, we taught you how to do that on the kickoff. We did a little reiteration of it today, but make sure to have that completely done if you don't yet. The next step is the fun part. Actually take action on those leads. Reach out to at least 200 of those on your list. And it could be, I mean, we covered the entire marketing conveyor belt today. We can talk, we talked about call or text or email or direct mail, or you can, you know, if you can door knock, if you can put door, door hangers on the door, whatever it is, make sure to reach out to those 200 leads. So you've got you know, with four days to do that ish, in, you know, between now and Monday this time to get out there to take action on that. And it, once you do that, post an update in the Facebook group on how it's going. Show us, maybe post yeah. some pictures of you out there doing it. Talk about what are those conversations you're having with sellers. Uh, you know, it, you, it, there's a little bit of honor system here, but if you're cheating us, you're only cheating yourself, really. Like the, yeah. <laughs> the goal is to, to get these out. Like you in front yeah. of the property, you with the seller. Like yes. We want to see you guys actually out there. And again, if you hit up a two, 100, 200 sellers over the next few days, mm -hmm. you might actually find a deal, right? Because you're doing the law of large numbers and you're doing the activity that's going to land you a deal. 
Exactly. And this is a challenge. We're, we're making it challenging to get out there and accomplish it. And if you're one of the people who do it, you're going to you have a great chance of winning the, the uh, grand prize here too. You know, it's going to get harder and harder to turn in the homework each time. So yep. um, there we go. We're giving away two grand prizes. So we're splitting up $7,500 worth of stuff between two people. So that's going to be awesome on, uh, on Monday. We're going to have, again, you got to show up live. You got to be on here. You got to be ready to jump in the chat, try to match your Facebook name to the chat name. So we know who you are <laughs> if you can, uh, but make sure that you are on live and we'll give this thing away on Monday to help you complete the homework. I know we've been talking about deal machine in terms of how to use this, uh, you know, the, the free trial throughout this whole thing. It's uh, dealmachine.com slash be polite, which is the seven day free trial. It's the unlimited free contact info, the free skip tracing right in there. It's the 50 free bonus postcards on top of all this to be able to send direct mail. Um, if you're all in on deal machine, you're like, yes, I want to commit to this, not just for these seven days, but long-term you can do dealmachine.com slash polites challenge. Um, I'll, I'll put a link to that in here as well. That is, it starts with a seven day free trial, but you also get an entire year of deal machine pro, which is what includes, you know, the AI feeds, the, it's the God mode we talked about. <laughs> it's everything. Right. Uh, that is nine ninety instead of what it would normally be, which is $500 off. So uh, that is something you, you cannot get that through our website. Like that is, uh, this is really the only way to go through is going through channels. Only for the polite challenge. There we go. So I'll throw that in the chat. Um, and I'll keep these QR codes up here in a second before people jump off. Um, again, we'll, we'll stick around and answer questions. Cause I see some really good ones in the chat. Uh, do you want to talk about the wealth portal and booking a strategy call with your team too? Yes. Yeah. Polite wealth portal. So we have actually Yolandria Taylor. She had a question about the difference between, between polite wealth portal and renovation wealth Academy. Polite wealth portal is our private Facebook group for our coaching students. So Yolandria, you're part of that program. Um, renovation wealth Academy is our public Facebook group. Um, you do have to request to join, but that's, that's uh, our public Facebook group. So the wealth portals for private, anyone who's interested in learning, um, how to level up and you want one-on-one -on -one attention, one-on-one -on -one support, someone to hold your hand, to get you to the next level, uh, I would encourage you to schedule a strategy session. Um, these things book up super fast, but yeah, schedule a strategy session with our team and we can talk to you about reach how we can help you reach your goals. Um, and then we also have our next Sunita. class, which is our uh, wholesaling accelerator. We talked about that a little bit earlier. It's a four week live wholesaling accelerator. We deep dive into wholesaling. You're gonna mm -hmm. learn you know, what some people take a year to drip out to you and teach you. You're gonna learn it in four weeks, how to close your first wholesale deal. So that class um, is super, super valuable as well. Nice. Robin said, what are we doing to show proof we reached out to 200 leads? So it, again, if you put that, post that update in the in the Facebook group, it show us with a seller, like show you, you know, at a door or having a conversation or, you know, uh, sending, you know, uh, showing off your mail or show, show us some kind of picture with it. Um, again, it's a little a bit video, of a here. video of you like, hey, I just finished That's the walk through. Yeah. This is what we talked about. This is where I got with the seller. Yeah. I showed documentation that you're actually out there doing doing the work. Um, mm -hmm. show, tell us you got cussed out. I mean, you know. Yeah. You told you got to know. It's going to happen, right? <laughs> Every knows one closer to a yes, right? Right. So, show us um, a text showing somebody saying get lost or saying, hey. And um, guess what? That means you're closer to getting a yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. So um, let's start with some questions. Yep. Do you want to mention the strategy session too? Is there anything else there that you wanted to touch on? Or um uh no, I think I think we're good. Mickey's got his strategy session yeah, tomorrow. Exactly. He's psyched, <laughs> he's psyched about that. Mickey's doing cool. the wholesaling accelerator as well. Too. Awesome. Well, yeah, let's answer some questions here. Yeah, then we got a lot of good ones. Cool. I think we have some further backup. Uh someone said, uh, I'm a realtor and investor. Should I use your forms or the state real estate forms? Good question. So we have a lot of students that are realtors and, and also investors. Um, we recommend using our forms, right? Because you're going to be the principal in the transaction as an investor. So a lot of our realtor students, they, they, they have to just disclose, hey, listen, I'm a licensed real estate agent, but in this capacity, in this transaction, I'm operating as an independent investor. So, you know, no, and they can use our, our contracts and forms. Yes. What else we got? Um, Somebody said the AI was lowballing the property. So that's artificial intelligence. Low, they were lowballing on the offers that they created for them. Do we go by AI? Do we analysis. go by AI analysis? 
Well, I'll say, you know, the MAO formula in there is the one that you mentioned, Dedrick. It's the 70% of ARV minus repair minus wholesale fee. So, you know, yeah, they'll, they will be lower offers. You, you can adjust that formula. So you could go in there and literally tell the AI, hey, use this formula instead. But, okay, um, yeah. you know, that's the default. So. so you can change the formula. I've tested it out and sometimes it's off you know, too low or too high. And sometimes it's spot on. Like, I'm, I'm surprised, like, damn, that's like within a thousand dollars of what I actually calculated on my, on my own. So, you know, it depends on the property and how many comps it pulls, but it's, it's pretty, pretty accurate. Nice. Um, is email part of the conveyor belt strategy? Yes. If we can't get a hold of them um, through text or cold calling and they do have an email, we do reach out through email as well. I mean, we'll send a carrier pigeon. It don't matter by yeah. any means necessary. And getting if it's in touch. a property that one that I'm I'm needing, I really, really want, and we're wanting it spe specifically, then I tell everyone we we send out priority mail. So we send offers mm -hmm. in the mail to them. We just sent a batch today. Yep, sent se seventy five offer letters today, where it's literally an offer. Um, and it's sent priority. You think that's going to get somebody's attention if they just get an offer, cash offer, and a financing offer in the mail? That's going to that's gonna get their attention. Um, you yeah. want to tell them about some of the other creative things we've done to get sellers' attention, sending gifts, sending yep. edible. So, um, not edibles, I mean, edible <laughs> arrangements. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, I, I, edibles might work though. Hey, you know. they'll be high. They'll be like, yeah. yeah. Not about Whatever, I'll sign this contract. <laughs> no, it's legal now. Um, 17 yeah, states. We do and send it all, literally. So, and I mean, ones that we don't, we hadn't purchased the property. And I think that's what sets us apart and which is why we get so many referrals from um, sellers as well. We try to separate ourselves. So mm -hmm. even when we do purchase the house, if we do go under contract, we make sure we seal the deal. Because a lot of sellers out there are shady and they will get under contract with you and they will get under contract with someone else. So what do they say? They say buyers are liars and sellers are worse. Yes. So <laughs> to seal the deal and making sure we built so much rapport, they feel guilty in their gut for going behind us is we offer more than just, oh, here are the contract. Hey, we will help you with your moving, especially with these elderly. Yeah, we pay for movers. We pay for movers. Mm -hmm. pay for we pay for storage. Um, we pay for not just people to move, but come in and help you pack. Um, and this is when emotional intelligence takes over. Um, when you have to really think about the person who's sitting across from you, right? And think about their situation. They don't have to have told you their situation. You have to have that emotional intelligence to look around and see and be like, okay, um, this lady's 75. Mm, she's by herself. Yeah, she's whole moving, house to pack whole house to pack. She's lived here her whole life. She's moving closer to her kids, but yet she hadn't talked about her kids coming to help her or any of that. Emotional intelligence must kick in. Hey, listen, I know they've lived here. You've lived here your whole life. So I know you have so many valuables here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we hire some movers to come help you pack because her pack in this house, you ain't going to get that property for another six, seven months. Yeah. But if you offer assistance, mm. you'll have that in 30 days. We help with storage, right? We help with, and one of the things about me is um, we've helped sellers who we wanted to buy their property and we drove by, Dedrick's called them on the spot, um, built some rapport like, hey, listen, you know, well, um, let me think about it. He's talked to them another time and they're still trying to, you know, work it out. And I'll tell Dedrick, I say, hey, listen, call him back and tell him um, the grass is getting high. So you're going to have to send your guy over there to cut it for him. No free of charge. Don't worry about it. Just because, you know, I don't want you to get any letters from the city. You know, them city cuts is going to run you about $200. Just from me having that emotional intelligence mm -hmm. to know how to get this man to close the deal. He's called him and was like, hey, I, you know, I just wanted to tell you I drove by today and saw the grass was getting high so i'm gonna send my guy over there cut the grass for you because you know last thing you want is a bill from the city for 200 but don't you know don't even worry about it guess what happens next yeah you know let's let's talk about that property man i, I thank you so much i pretty young men don't do stuff like that nowadays yeah. now the conversation is completely different 
And guess what? We've gotten the property now. Just from a so little things like forty dollar grass them. cut, thinking of the stuff that other investors are not going to think of. That's where that emotional intelligence comes. We send edible arrangements to sellers, especially at this age group. You know how many edible arrangements we done sent in cookie baskets and know you by name, yeah. <laughs> flower arrangements that we send to people. Ones that we've not even bought the property. And they appreciate it. But yeah. Dedrick calls them. They're under the weather. They just got out the hospital. Uh, they didn't have surgery. Dedrick tells me. I'd be like, oh, okay. What'd you say her name was? Okay. Send me her address, please. Tell my assistant, hey, send over uh, edible arrangement to this person, this address. We ain't got no property under contract. We've been mm -hmm. talking to them. For the property. Treating people how you'd want to be treated, or how you'd want your grandmother to be That's treated. That's it. It's awesome. Building that rapport. I think tr truly caring about the person too. Like that's where you're gonna yeah. pick up so much more emotional intelligence. Is, is like, like you said, how would you want your grandma to be treated? How can you stand out and really do something special for them? So um, exactly. Yeah. I, I, I've been going through the chat by the way in marking. So if you you see the Q and A only piece on uh, webinar and jam, there's oh. like. A, Gotcha. That's, that's okay. why I've been putting a lot of them. So oh, okay. Cool. Um, Terry Smith said, is the down payment the same as the EMD? No, those are two different things. So EMD stands for earnest money. So typically when you buy a piece of real estate, you're gonna put it on the earnest money, or it's also known as a deposit, right? Typically, we do a hundred dollar deposit. We've literally locked up million dollar properties in the contract with a hundred dollars. You may ask, how the hell are you getting a million dollar piece of property? You only giving them a check for a hundred dollars. That's where rapport, yep. emotional intelligence, when you build that connection, they're not caring about you giving them five grand. They're no. like, all right, I trust this, these people. I feel like they're going to do what they're going to say. I don't mind about the deposit. I'm just, I know they're going to do what they say they're going to do. So that's how we lock them up for a $100 deposit. Now, the down payment is separate. That's the balance that you bring to closing, right? And again, you don't necessarily have to bring that to closing from your own cash. You can use creative ways to even come up with that money. Um, if I'm a realtor investor, should we, I oh, we we did that, that one. one? What if you physically can't get out to the property? You don't have to. You don't have to because we don't physically get out to the properties. <laughs> <laughs> this can all be done virtually. <laughs> Everything is virtually. This is why the photos are so important. So Wait, I pro listen, Deal Machine was doing, I was doing virtual with Deal Machine before it was ever set up to do virtual. <laughs> True. I mean? had to explain to that. Dave. <laughs> how I was doing it and getting these properties in Boston. We were locking up deals in Boston in and we're in North Carolina virtually without ever leaving my sofa. He was and like, he was how like, are you what? This? this is the founder of Deal Machine. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, we listened for sure. Yeah. I was locking up land in Deal Machine. Without and it not being set up to lock up land, so you don't ever have to go to a property. What you need is boots on the ground. So if you have friends, family, college roommate, ex boyfriend, it don't matter. If you <laughs> don't, it don't matter. Someone who can go and take <laughs> pictures and videos for you. If you don't have no one in that city, go to Task Rabbit or Rabbit. BPO Photo Flow or what's the other one? Um, BPO Photo Flow. Task rabbit. We go, look. we go look. Yeah, I think it is. These are all sites where you can <laughs> hire somebody, pay them seventy five bucks, seventy five dollars, fifty dollars to go take photos of the property for you. Photos and videos. That's all you need for them to get them back to you, and you can evaluate the deal from there. I mean, we've literally purchased properties without ever having talked to the seller over the phone. We we literally purchased the property all through email for whatever reason. The seller did not want to talk on the phone. It was like. 50 emails back and forth over like a two month period. And we bought the property and wholesale and made 13 grand. And just to wow. give you guys a, a tip, pro tip on that. If you start texting a seller and you see that they're communicating with you great through text and they have not said to you yet, let's hop on a call. Do not pick the phone up and call them. Don't call them. They want to stay on text. That's their preferred method of communication is text. Wait till they invite you. Okay. Okay. Let's hop on a call to discuss this. Once they've warmed up and seen that you are actually real and you're not a bot and you're not a scam and they say, hey, listen, OK, you know, let, let's carve out some time to hop on a call because the moment you do. It's kind of like dating. You know, you're texting a girl 
and then you just pop up and call her. You know, hold, hold on. You, no, you, you pop up fast. and try and FaceTime her. All of a sudden, you know, you, there's rules to FaceTime. Right, she could have her can't, makeup could be off. You can't know, anybody just crazy. FaceTime you? That's like, you know, back in the day with Nextel. Right. She got the, rollers in her hair and looking up. chirp and stuff. You know, when you was breaking through on lines and stuff, you can't do that. <laughs> um, but keep it with their preferred method. If it's phone calls and you're talking to them, keep talking to them. Don't start texting them all of a sudden, right? Because that's not their preferred method of communication. Yep. How do we get access to your forms? We're going to send it out in the recap email. Uh, yep. Matt will send it out to everyone. Yep. Um, Yolandria, with the forms, how are they held up if challenged in court? Are they supposed to be notarized? Like any other legal document, right? Of course, you want to have an attorney review them for you and vet them. And if there's any edits or changes, have your attorney make those edits or changes for you. But it's like any other any other legal document. And just so you know, you're closing with an attorney. So yeah, a title company or an attorney or an attorney. Closing. So they're going to you're really not going to be going if you're going to court, it's not going to be because of the documents, um, because you're not going to be able to close with some documents that's legal. Um, I paid for four week salary course. I got scheduled for June class. Is May class available? Yes, May is. Yeah, May is the next class. The next class. So send them uh, unless you signed up for the seller finance one, which is June. So seller finance is in June and wholesale is in May. Yep. So if you meant to do the wholesale, just um, send us an email. Send them. A, send us an email at support at polite wealth portal. Um, support at polite wealth portal dot com. Um, if or when we get a contract with our 200 plus list, do the plights have time to help guide us through the process? Terry Smith, shoot us an email. If you get one, um, at, and Matt, if you can put that in the chat, support at politewealthportal.com. Mm -hmm. um, if you get a contract, we absolutely will help you. Yep. Send us an email. Yeah. Will All you right. please explain the conveyor belt method it is using multiple marketing methods to starting with your cheapest starting with your cheapest first forms of communication um to get sellers to communicate with sellers so with uh deal machine if you're using this strictly we're doing cold calling first cold calling is typically your cheapest because it takes just your time to hop on a phone and you can and click the call. call from within the deal machine app yep on your phone you literally One click, click it and it'll dial right from your phone um, and then you don't hear from them. We go to text messaging. Um, somebody had asked previously how how um, often or how quickly do you use the next one in between? I will call them for a couple of days, then shoot them a text. Typically, if I'm starting on Monday, text messages will come by uh, Wednesday. By that time, <clears throat> if I don't hear anything through text, your then phone. I'm mm -hmm. shooting shooting them out um, mailers. Now, mailers are still going out, even with me still trying to contact them through text and emails. Mm -hmm. Mailers are always autopilot. going to be autopilot, just working on behalf. And I'm doing it typically every three days. Our team would be calling region. Or... No, try, texting and Text calling. or phone call. Yep. And mailers go out once a month yep. to that property owner. Are we actually going out to all 200 properties? No, Kristen. <laughs> I was going to say CTS that earlier too, especially because we're not doing owner occupied if you pulled all, you know, that whole thing. So yeah, you'll get, you know, renters, not the owner if you do that. No, but you're reaching out to them through text or yeah. phone call. Yeah. Text, call, email, uh, you know, uh, direct mail. mail. Yeah. All that. Yeah. I mentioned door knocking. If you have a, the right list, you know, in the future you can do that. But for this specific. In the right, in the right area. Mm -hmm. You can't door knock. <laughs> everywhere because if you in philly even st louis some neighborhoods you know <laughs> right yeah. right if you in boston don't don't do it don't do it to yourself don't do it if you here in north carolina especially in our area you can do it not if you in in boston don't do that nah, even north carolina you gotta be careful that's why i said yeah. our area you you can get away with that do the uh, dates for june seller financing um, um they're typically wednesday nights yep the first wednesday and every wednesday after that um who should i be mark says who should i be calling on behalf of who am i representing mark you are representing mark with a q marshall you're representing yourself you are the man you are the principal in the transaction yep so you're not representing someone else hey my name is mark i'm a real estate investor me i buy houses in this area would I'm love a to local discuss an offer investor um, especially people this old, just to give you guys 
um, a tip. People this old like to, if they're going to communicate and deal with someone, they like people who are local. Mm -hmm. um, they're 70, 80, they and spent their whole local, life. You say you're local. You say you're local. Because like I said, we buy property everywhere. Um, and we say, you know, we're just a small local investor. They don't got to know where you actually at. Absolutely. You may not be local, but you got a team locally that can go to the property. Yep. So you say, you know, I'm just a small local investor. Um, and you play them up. Well, if you get an opportunity to actually speak to them, you know, Dedrick makes sure he's always, what do you call Boosting it? Boosting their um, ego. Absolutely. Boost the seller's ego. Aren't How do you do that? I'm trying to be like you, Mr. Jenkins. Man, you know, I'd love to one day own 10 properties. Man. How, did, how did you do it? And it, they'll let, people love talking about themselves. Oh, well, this is what I did, young man. I did this. I did that. You know, and you boost their ego and let them talk about themselves and their accomplishments. Yep. They they like you. They're going to like you more. They're going to be like, all right, this, this guy's all right. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, I wish I had a dad who taught me this when I was young age. You know, yeah. When I was younger, man, I'm listen, I'm just trying to follow in your steps, Mr. Jenkins. Yes, Quincy, we teach how to wholesale. That's actually that's how we got started in yep. the business was wholesaling. So that's the next yeah, accelerator. The four, week, four week accelerator starting May 1st. You can learn how to wholesale in that yep. class. Can you use Google Voice as your phone number? Uh yes, you don't ever want to use your personal phone number because if you do, they can mark it as spam. So now when you're just calling people just to be like, yo, boo, what's up? That's just ringing spam. When spam like caller. <laughs> so <laughs> don't use your own number. Um, uh, and if you use the um, what do you call it? The um, Google Voice. Just make sure you pay that little fee to get that. Um, Google that, Voice number is now calling. You don't that, want that that prompt. Yeah, to get that Google Voice removed, it's like ten bucks, so it doesn't prefix it when it calls someone saying this is a Google Voice number. Uh, Robin has a question. When you build your list and you start calling, you don't know if the property is worth calling about. Do you analyze it before? No, you don't. Don't overanalyze it. Don't, don't, you know, that's called analysis paralysis. Just call. Yep. Right. And hey, can you tell me a little bit more about the property? Oh, is this and that? Oh, oh well, could you make me an offer on the property? Well, I need to learn a little bit more. I need to come out and see it right before I can make you an offer. So if they try to prompt you to like make me an offer, how much will you give me? Well, sir, at this phase, you know, I'm just going to gather some information and then I'll bring it back to my team. And typically we'll do a walkthrough where we can assess the condition of how much work the property needs. And then we can make you an offer. Now, if you have been, if you have some deals under your belt where you don't have to go out to the property and you can just do it strictly on photos, then that's great. And just say, hey, listen, if I can just, you know, uh, send my partner out there, take a few pictures, unless you have some already that you can send me, that would be like perfect. And then they'll be like, oh, no, nah. email you photos. Yep. Someone tell me, oh, yeah, yeah, I got some Um, I can send you. And if they don't, they'll be like, oh, I, listen, it'll take me 10 minutes just to run in real quick. Have my partner run in grab some pictures and some videos. And then I'll be able to shoot you over um, an offer within the hour. But you want to show that um, urgent that give them that sense of urgency. Right. You don't want to make someone think it's a long, drawn out process where it's going to take a week and stuff. No. Hey, listen, all I need is 10 minutes. Mr. Jenkins to run in, grab some pictures and videos, and I can get an offer to you within the hour. Um, but it, it's a real simple process. This is a good one for you, Crystal. What if you're a newbie? Like if someone says yes, then what? Like what do they do? Good question. I'm really trying to understand. So if someone says yes, they're interested in selling. They're interested in selling. Then at that point, you're saying great. Um, at this point, you're gathering now information information how many bedrooms how many bathrooms uh we have scripts for that right yep um can you tell me the last time the property was updated when's the last time you fixed up the kitchen the bathroom the roof what's the age of the roof and you just start gathering the the demographic info on the property because you got to use that that's going to determine how much you can pay them for the property and you'll say once you get all that information great got some pictures. I'm going to go ahead and write up an offer. Let me bring this back to my team. That's when you email us, right? You get into the, one of our classes and we'll tell you what to do next. You send them over an offer um, to them. But we also like to, even when we're gathering information, we say, um, how would you like to receive your funds? Check. Would you? Did you want a wire? <clears throat> we always say that because we like to lead with, with money. 
when people went, know that you talk in money, they see that you're serious. Hey, also, um, I'd like to know how you would like to receive your funds. So I can just put this on the letter, uh, oh. on the form, oh, email okay. to the attorney. Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay. Uh, now, are you the one who's going to be handling it? No, it's the attorney. They're going to ask him that. Um, but you focus them back on the money rather than, you know, what you may know or not know. Yep. Right. Um, Bruce Lee from Santa Barbara. Is that your real name, Bruce Bruce Lee? Come on now. What's your thoughts <laughs> on going after high neighborhoods such as Santa Barbara? Um, those are great neighborhoods. So I'm going to tell you, um, pretty houses are great neighborhoods for the creative finance. Seller um, finance, subject to. Subject to method. So Wait. what's what's subject to? Subject to is seller financing, but it's when someone has a mortgage. So what if they owe money, right? You can still do a seller finance deal, which you would do in that high price neighborhood at Santa Barbara. What if they just bought the house and maybe they got laid off? They were in a tech job and they got laid off. Tesla just laid off 10% of their workforce. Now they can't pay their mortgage. They might be motivated to sell, but the house is worth more. They owe more than what the house is worth. So now they're kind of stuck. What you can do is actually take over the mortgage payments by buying the property subject to the existing loan. Right. That's a creative finance technique that works really good in higher priced neighborhoods. And why does it work better there? Because a lot of these people who are living here moved here because of things like jobs. Right. They're moving here. Their job is relocated them. They got this big, beautiful house. Then all of a sudden, four, five years, they've lived here and now they're relocating them to somewhere else. And now they have this big house. Not a lot of equity has been built up and they're having to sell and if a lot of times sometimes they're having to pay bring money to this closing so those are great neighborhoods to market to um for sub two or creative financing i like this question from reggie so we're going after tired landlords what's a tired landlord is someone who's owned rental properties for many many years so his question is any suggestions for occupied properties meaning it's got tenants in it where the owners don't want to put the tenants out and we're very sensitive to that. So here's what you say to the owner. All right, Mr. Jones, I understand, you know, these tenants have been renting from you for 20, 30 years. You got a relationship with them. We never want to put anyone out in the street. That's the first first thing. So uh, what we typically do, if you are you still wanting to sell? Well, yeah, I want to sell, but I don't want to put them out. Okay, so here's what you do. You tell them that you have someone that wants to do a walkthrough. Don't tell them I'm buying it. Just say you have an inspector or a property manager that's going to do a walkthrough. That's how you get me into the property. I'm going to do a walkthrough. I'm not going to say anything about buying it. And secondly, if and if I do buy it, you know, we could keep them in there. That's that's also an option right now. That's going to affect the price if we inherit the tenants. But we don't have to necessarily give them a notice to leave. We could keep the tenant. So we're, we're willing to be flexible around that. So a lot of times that eases their concern. Like, OK, well, you're not just going to kick my tenants out or nothing like that. No, no. These are your tenants. We want to treat them with respect. And if we do ask them, say they have to move, we're going to give them ample time. We're going to yep. say, hey, how much time do you need to find a new place? Do you need 60 days? Do you need 90 days? Again, we never want to put anybody out. And a lot of times you're going to run into landlords who don't want to deal with it, that aspect of it. And if you don't step up and say, hey, listen, even ones who saying, hey, uh, they ain't paid rent in six, seven months. And I don't want to have to be the one to deal with an eviction. So that's why they're selling to you at a discount. Hey, Happens listen. a lot. No worries, Mr. Jenkins. I will take care of this for you. Trust and believe. But you have you're a problem solver. So you have to be prepared to also solve that problem, or you're not going to get that property. And we've had to deal with those as well. Tenants who stop paying rent, they've come to us like, listen, you can have this property at this point. Um, what, what, what was your offer? But you have to deal with this tenant. So we've had to be the one who've taken over the property and um, serve the tenant as well. So, or our property manager. Yeah. It's our, typically our property manager though. Mm -hmm. You're a problem solver. Would the police be interested in JVN on a contract if, or when we get a deal from our homework list? Yep. If the numbers make sense. So, you know, they're going to have to definitely make num sense for us. But yeah, we JV with our students. Yep. We do it all the time. One last one here. Yeah. Uh, uh, where did that go? Here we go. Do you have any attorney you can reach out to? What state are you in? It depends what state you're in. So there's what you want to do is if you're in North Carolina, we got you covered because that's the state where we operate in primarily. 
But um, depending on what state you are, there's uh, I think you might have showed this. There was another training private uh, these Facebook groups. So say you're in Nashville, you go into a Facebook group, type in Nashville real estate investors group. Oh, Chris, he's in North Carolina. Oh, you're in North Carolina. OK, yeah. send us an email. We got you know, a ton of closing attorneys that yeah. know how to work with investor transactions that we can refer in North Carolina. Yeah. But even if you're not like Dedrick was saying, you there's a real estate investor Facebook group for every city, every state and every city. Thousands of people in these groups. And all you do, and I literally just showed it on a training probably yesterday or the day before Monday uh, or something. You go in and you put in to the group real estate uh, investor, uh, investor friendly attorneys or title companies, whichever one. And you look at all the posts and then you go through all the comments and you see whose name keeps popping up in the comments. That's the first one you're going to try and you're going to reach out to. And these are referrals. These are ones that you know other investors are using. So you're not Googling and hoping that this is a, um, a investor friendly attorney. Go right into the comments, search. Don't put up a post because it's a million of them in, in there already. So just put search up, the post. search, put a, go in the search and put investor friendly attorneys or title, or title company. companies. Perfect. All right. I know we kept you way over, so I really appreciate you guys sharing your time. This has been awesome. Like, go and jump in the chat and tell them thank you here. Uh, the Dedrick, Dedrick uh, you're welcome. I know we had to uh, run out. You're welcome. This is uh, awesome. Monday, oh. but we had a uh, another inter, uh, news interview we had to do. So yeah, you're on all so day. We can make up for it. <laughs> well, uh, I know everyone here really, really appreciates it. On on our end again, make sure you finish your homework. Make sure you turn uh, turn it in before Monday. Try to turn it in like 30 minutes, an hour beforehand if you can. So that way we can make sure you get in that giveaway. Yeah. Uh, but it'll be Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Mm -hmm. We're on live one last time. I'm um, talking about, you know, closing deals and and, and kind of where to go from here. Uh, I think, you know, to turn in the homework, you got to go to that dealmachine.com slash polites group. That's where you're going to post your update uh, as you reach out to that list of sellers. So you you pull your list of, uh, of you know, of uh, sellers here like we did on the kickoff. You reach out to them after you you know went through this training and then finally post that update and show up live and you'll have a chance to win over $7,500 $7, of free stuff. And, you know, maybe you'll do a deal between now and then too. So uh, right. pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> Everybody, you're welcome, guys. It's been a you're pleasure. Welcome. We always love sharing the wealth and the information with you guys. And love thanks it. for hanging with us. Yeah. Happy deal finding, guys. We'll see you on Monday. See you on All Monday. Right. Thanks.